Hey everybody, it's Dr. Heyer. In this week's video for Holistic Health, we're following up with our series on functional nutrition in the office. In our first video, if you go back, we talked about kind of the big picture of how we do functional medicine in the office. And we said that we actually look at three different things or have three different uh, protocols or tests that we go through. The first is we have a patient fill out a NutriQ questionnaire, which is a very in-depth questionnaire that gives us a great starting point of what's going on with the individual. The second thing we talked about in our, our video last week is the we look at blood work in labs and sometimes we have the need for ordering functional tests to give us a better in-depth understanding of what's going on within the patient's body itself. And this week we wanted to talk about contact reflex analysis or CRA, which this is really cool. <coughs> This system is based on acupuncture. And I'm not an artist, and nor, no, I'm not an artist, nor is Alexis. Um, this is not a gingerbread, this is actually a human. Um, you can see he needs chiropractic care because one leg is longer than the other, so he's got a crooked pelvis. But um, this is not a gingerbread boy, but this is what we're going to explain for our acupuncture system. And, Acupuncture goes back thousands and thousands of years. Depending on the source you read, anywhere from three to 4,000, some say 7,000, some say since the beginning of the recorded time 10,000 years ago. It's been around a long time, but a lot of people don't quite understand how it works. So, if you'll pretend that this is a light bulb and this is a light switch, this building has power running through the walls. I can't see the wires, I can't see the energy, but I can see that when I flip a switch on, the light goes on, when I flip the switch off, the light goes off. Any electrician can tell you that if there's electricity running through the wire, there's a magnetic field around that wire. And they would tell you that's an electric magnetic field. Well, there are flows of energy running through the human body as well. The brain is like a giant battery. And when I send a signal down to my muscle to contract or to play the piano or strum a guitar, that electrical signal is an electrical, um, basically an electrical current. And unlike, uh, similar to a wire in the wall, but it's a nerve inside my body that's conducting and transmitting that signal. Well, if there's a magnetic field around a wire in the wall, don't you think that there might be a magnetic field around the wire in my body? Yes, there is. And you could call it an EMF, you could call it an, a meridian, you could call it a channel, you could call it an aura. I don't really care what word you use but there's energy flowing through the body. Now, if I wanted to tap into the power in my building, let's say I had a vacuum or had to charge up my laptop, what would I look for? Well, I look for an outlet somewhere in the wall, let's see if I can draw that, that I could plug into to tap in and either charge up my laptop or my cell phone or, or vacuum around here. An acupuncture point is nothing more than a, a tap-in point <coughs> or an outlet point that you can tap into the body to charge up or rebalance the energy in the person. And with our society being so tired and run down and fatigued, most people's batteries are running a little low and it could use a charge. Well, that helps us understand how acupuncture works. The CRA or the contact reflex analysis doesn't involve needles, it doesn't actually involve the insertion of acupuncture needles, but what we do is take the acupuncture points on the body that correlate with different organ systems and muscle test them to see if those systems are strong and functioning well, or if they're kind of low energy <coughs> and, and not doing so well. And what does that do? <coughs> what does that do? That gives us information when we have a questionnaire, when we have blood tests and functional tests, this gives me a here and now what's going on with this patient and what systems aren't working well. The cool thing is, when I start seeing congruence between all three systems, I know where to start. And unfortunately, a lot of other doctors kind of chase symptoms and they chase this sniffle and they chase that pain and they kind of get a person on multiple medications and multiple things. This helps give me a better understanding of what are the underlying causes that need to be addressed to help this patient. And I know this might be the shortest video of this series, but it's a really cool um, assessment that I can use that helps me understand the big picture of what's going on with this individual. And then that way we can get on the right track and help them get back to health. 
So if you have any questions or you think, hey, I'd like to go through a nutritional evaluation or maybe you know somebody who has a lot of health issues, chronic pain, chronic illness, those kind of things, that you're just not getting answers from other doctors or you're just not getting results that you'd like to see, give us a call. 815-469-7472 or send us a message or type us a message on Facebook or on YouTube and we'll be happy to help you. Thanks. Make a great day.